All right, so as I usually do, I'm going to start by creating my slip knot, and I'm going to cross over once, twist twice, grab my working string, pull it through, and I go a little bit slower in my other videos if you wanna check those out, um, but I'm just going to create this slip knot right here. I'm going to set this down and I'm going to start my chain. So for this blanket, we're going to do the, bas the basket weave blanket. Um, you need to have a chain in multiples of three. I um, chose to do, I, I've linked on 27, but what I am going to do now is I'm going to create one more, 28, because I'm going to pull it down towards me. So this isn't actually gonna be part of my chain. This is gonna be, um, the, this is gonna be where I start to block off and create over here. I'm gonna get my working yarn and move it over to the other side as I usually do. I, I move my yarn wherever I'm moving to. So once again, we're creating our chain in multiples of three. So you could do 12, 15, 18, so on and so forth. And then remember to have one more left, um, left out. So link on one more just so that you can pull down. Okay. We are going to start now. So I have this one going under. I'm going to move my working yarn over here so that I'm going wherever I'm um, working. I'm gonna twist this over so that I know it's gonna stay right here. This is gonna go off to a side, leave it alone, let it go. I'm going to create three loops just like this one. So I'm going to go under under this stitch right here. And remember, I'm using all of my bottom stitches. So if you take a look, I'm using all of these stitches right here. And I'm going to go under and pull through. I'm going to go under and pull through. So I have three stitches right here that are going under. I am now going to move into what's called the purling stitch. So this is the knitting stitch. I'm going to move into the purling stitch and it's so super easy. I'm going into my bottom stitch once again, but instead of going under, I'm going to go over. And I'm going to go over three times. So over one, over two, over three. And it's just a pattern from here. So we went, um, we did our three stitches going under. Now we did our three stitch going over. And if you take a look at the purling stitch going over, you can tell it's a purling stitch because it has this like kind of band over it, band over it, band over it. Next, we're gonna move in to the next. We're going to go under. 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 And then going to go over our purling stitch. Over and pull through. Over and pull through. Over and pull through. You'll just continue doing that until you get to the end. And that's why we created um, multiples of three because we have our three going under, three going over, three going under, three going over. And it's so easy to recognize because you see the lifting and then this stays on the bottom. Lifting and then it stays on the bottom. So you'll just continue that all the way till you get to the end. 
We're on the other side and you can see a little bit more clear now. I have my three raised here, my three lower, my three raised and my three lower. The ones that are lower with the band are the pearls and then these are just regular knitting stitches. So I'm going to go in through here and I'm going to just follow the pattern. So I'm gonna go under because this is my regular knitting stitch. I'm going to go under, again, moving my yarn. And then I'm going to go under and I'm going to go under and then I'm going to go over three times. I'm just following, following the stitches, the previous stitches. Over, 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 under, under, under. So now I am moving into my third row and we can see our knitting stitches are the ones that are raised. Purling stitches, they have this band so they're lower. So this is my knitting stitch. I'm going to do my three knits. And I'm going to place a clip right here on this last stitch because this, this is just going to um, indicate that this is my third. So on each, um, on each third, then you'll place your clip and you can pretty much use anything. I didn't have, I only had a hair clip, so that's what I'm using. Just going to continue and I'm gonna do my three pearls. So I'm gonna go over. And just continue until you get right back over there. Game changer. We are on our third, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move my clip right on the end so this can indicate this is my third. Actually, I'm gonna clip it just a little bit higher because I need to get into this loop. Um, now that we are going to loop through here, if, as you can see, this is the knitting stitch because it's raised. These are my pearls because they're lower. So now I'm gonna turn this knit into a pearl. Instead of going under as I would for a knit and follow the pattern, I'm going to go over. So I'm coming over. Over. over so this is going to be different now this one is my pearl and I'm going to go under so I'm going to do the the complete opposite every third stitch you're going to do the opposite so I know that's my third stitch right there And you'll just continue this through. So um, we went over, 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 under, 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 over, 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 under, under, under. Just continue it through. Now I'm right back on the other side. I'm going to continue my row the same. So I'm not, I don't do the game changer until the third. So we work in threes all the time. Um, this right here is going to be my second row. So my second row is gonna be the same thing. I'm going to go under. Okay, I'm right back on the other side. And as you can see, I'm going to go back and do the same thing. We don't do the game changer until, until the third row. So we work in threes all the time. This is going to be my second row. And as you can see, I have that band right here. So I know 
that this is my going over. This is my purl stitch, so I'm going to go over. One, over, two, move my yarn, I forgot to do that. Over three, and then under one. I'm just following whatever I have previously. Two, three. Now I'm starting on my row three. So this row is going to be the same as the previous row, but it will be the last one that's the same as the previous row. So I can see right here, I have my little stitch or my little band right here. So I know that's going over. I'm going to go over, pull through, move my yarn. Over over, under, under, under. Just to mark that this is my last, I'm going to place it here, but I can identify that it's my last because I have these bands right here. So there's a band one, band two, band three. So I know this is my last, this is my third row. Just use this marker just to um, just to be sure of it. Sometimes I'm working quickly and I um, lose track of what I'm doing. So it's smart to keep this just in case. Okay, so I'm right at the end and I figured I would zoom in a little bit so you can take a look at the rows that I'm seeing. So this right here is the stitch that's going over, which is our, our purling stitch. This right here is a stitch that is going under, which is our knitting stitch. So you can see I have um, a band right here of one, two, and three. So I know that when I start here, since I've already completed my Three, this is gonna be the game changer. Instead of going over, I'm going to go under so I can make um, a knitting stitch just like this. You'll get to a point where you run out of yarn. I just hand sew the yarn together and double knot it. So once you get to the very end, you are going to, I, I was lucky because I, I just barely made it. If you don't make it, unravel so that you have a full set just like this, but you will pull on that working string as much as you possibly can. You're gonna get this loop and intertwine it with the loop right beside it. So you are going to go inside of the loop right beside it. And then now you have one. Then you'll go right next to the loop right beside it, intertwine it right next to the loop right beside it, intertwine it. The loop right beside it and you will just keep doing that okay so the very end you will stitch all four sides I've already stitched this side you'll have a loop and you'll place the loop right around so it'll connect to this chain right here and you'll stitch you'll hand stitch this right here <laughs> 